Today we're going to look at using an angle ruler to create angles with. We're going to start by drawing a 90 degree angle. In order to draw with an angle ruler, I need to first off make sure that it's facing up so that I can read the words on it. Then I'm simply going to rotate my top leg. As I do, I can see my degrees increasing on the dial. So I'm going to keep turning until my 90 degrees lines up with the blue line on my bottom leg. Now my angle ruler is showing me a 90 degree angle. So to simply draw the angle, I can just hold it in place and trace on the inside of both legs. When I do, I can add my little box in the corner to show that it's a 90 degree angle and I have my angle. Now we can use our angle ruler to create a 50 degree acute angle. When I start to turn my dial, I notice that 15, 30, and 45 are labeled but not 50. In between 45 and 60, there are two dashes. Since that's a total range of 15 degrees, I know each of those dashes is worth 5 degrees. So 50 must be the first dash past 45. Now that I have my angle ruler set at 50 degrees, I can simply trace the inside of my angle and label it to show I measured the acute angle of 50 degrees. To draw a 135 degree obtuse angle, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open our top leg and keep rotating until we hit 135. So again, we can simply hold our angle ruler down and trace along the inside and label it to show we measured the 135 degrees for the obtuse angle. We need to draw a 250 degree reflex angle. An advantage of an angle ruler is that it measures all the way up to 360 degrees, so we can simply keep turning until we hit that 250 degrees. As I turn the arm, I can see my degrees increasing. We go past 120, going past 180, coming up on 240, so that first mark is 245, that second mark is 250. So here's my 250 degree angle that I can trace. Now, since we want this to be a reflex angle, we need to make sure we label it to show people that we traced this path here on the outside. That's how we communicate that we are measuring the reflex angle, not the interior angle. So this is our 250 degree reflex angle.